Energy is one of the most important stats in Wizard Runner 1. And why wouldn't it be? You use it literally for everything. Gardening, fishing, cantrips, and my personal favorite, pet training. Can I make the pet? Okay, I didn't. Wow. Screw you! And yet, there are a lot of issues with how this stat works. How could such an important stat be so underdeveloped in Wizard 101? That's the topic of today's video. So let's talk about the elephant in the room, right? Energy as a stat has not changed in literally years. And what I mean by that is, even though you might see that my energy is 322, my base is only 130. And for the vast majority of players, their experience with energy does revolve around this 130 mark. Now, fun fact, before when, you know, 130 was the max level, you would actually gain 10 energy every time you leveled up. But for some inexplicable reason, Wizard 101 ended that pattern with, I want to say, Imperia. So ever since Arc 4 came out, another very unfortunate side effect of it has been that energy is way more limited now than it's ever been before. And I think it's kind of silly, in my opinion, why energy hasn't grown with the wizard. Your needs, especially when it comes to stats, for, with pets, when it comes to gardening, when it comes to fishing for things, those needs needs are obviously going to become more diverse and more energy intensive as you level up. With all the gear templates that Wizard 101 has put out and all the pins and dual schooling that they have made available to the wizard, there's never going to be pets that you don't want to make simply because it could be cool to make a new setup. And that's something the level 160s experience, not like level 130s or level 100s, when you're at max level with nine different templates, with all these pins, with all these different pieces of gear that you can use, you're clearly going to have more pets that you're going to make, and yet energy hasn't kept up. And what I think is especially crazy is that they've added entire side systems since they stopped giving us energy for leveling up. And the side systems require energy. The one that I'm really talking about is cantrips. Now, there's a really, really cool activity. You could do, like, very little things for a little bit of energy, like, you know, levitating your spell book or, like, flipping around. Like, you know, I feel like this is pretty cool, right? I mean, they went through the trouble of making this. It looks cool. You can make your, you know, wizard do an animation. And while cantrips on the surface might just look like it's fun, if you do stuff like raids, you actually actually end up using a lot of these, right? Like, let's say that you're going against a boss that allows you to trap stack. If something goes wrong because your RNG is bad, very often you'll see yourself using Dual Strike or Dual Strike 2, Dual Strike 3. You'll, you'll, you'll cast traps into the sigil. These are 42 energy and 32 energy, respectively. That is nuts compared to our basically, like, you know, like what we're capped at as our base of 130. That's a nutty ass amount of energy to spend on 130 energy. In other words, they've made the drain on your energy a lot bigger, but they haven't increased the faucet for, from which the water comes. And that creates a scenario where you really do have to spread yourself super, super thin or obviously buy more energy elixirs. And that's the real like gist of it, right? I think they're just trying to make money. But what I think they forget is the more time you spend on the game, the healthier it is probably for the game in the long run. And energy lets you spend more time on the game than you otherwise would, right? Doing raids, super time intensive. Making pets, I've never sat down, thought of a, pe thought of a pet to make and just made it right away. Even something like fishing. Some people fish for hours to get what they want. These are things that probably increase the health of the game because the playtime increases. I think people will justify purchases of other sorts on a game where they actually spend more time on, but I feel like when you run out of energy for a lot of people, that's when they're done. If they've gardened and they're already out of energy, they're going to hop on, garden, and get off, right? Like, what else can they do with their energy? So in a lot of ways, yes, they'll probably lose money on energy elixirs if they increase, you know, the base cap, but they won't lose that much. You're still going to use energy elixirs to train pets and stuff. But the flip side is people without energy gear, right? If they have 160 instead of 130, they might spend more time doing stuff like fishing, like gardening. And you might have more of an incentive to update what seems like pretty dead side activities. Like fishing and gardening, they haven't really been updated. And I feel like a lot of the reason for that is more and more people don't really spend time doing stuff like that because there's too many sinks on their energy from other sources. So I think they make a little bit more money but lose a lot of people's playtime. And they could create other activities that actually require energy. Why can't they do stuff? like that. I feel like that would be good for the game. I also have a really, really big issue with how Wizard 101 monetizes how the player accesses energy. Out of all of the elixirs in Wizard 101, the energy elixir is the only one that you simply cannot get from doing battle passes, from doing events. The one exception is, I believe it's like Pet Promenade. There's one time when that happens to drop, you can get one energy elixir on each wizard. You max out the Pet Promenade event on. You can also do Grub Guardian. It's like this 
old mobile game that they don't update anymore, but you could do certain levels and get energy elixirs. Those are the only ways you can access energy without spending money. It's much, much more minimal than literally every other elixir in the game. There's craftable elixirs. There's all kinds of ways to access member benefit elixirs like PvP. Energy elixirs, just not the case. You got to jump through a lot of hoops to get a free energy elixir. And beyond that, your ability to increase your energy is completely tied to money. I get that energy is like a premium currency of sorts and they got to monetize stuff on this game. I just think that specifically when you look at the gear, you really see like two different different worlds when it comes to whether you spend money or you don't. I recently made my full energy setup. And by the way, this 322 max energy that I have, it's not even the max. I could technically have even a little bit more. But the hat that gives the most energy in the game, it's from a pack that's extremely rare. Like, this is a hard drop to get. The robe that gives the most energy, it's from a bundle that costs $29. The boots that give the most energy, I don't even have those. Another bundle that costs like another $30. The highest energy wand is 14 energy. And at least a free-to-play alternative is something you can farm for for 10 energy, so this one's not as bad. And even though the Athame and Ring that give the most energy are farmable from Aphrodite, the jewels that you affix onto things, the five, the five energy jewels, they're all from packs. Nearly every single way that you actually raise your base energy is extremely pay to win. And the free to play alternative, with the one exception being the wand, it, it's, it's just bad compared to it. This is the type of nonsense that I'm talking about. Like, if you do PvP and get a lot of tickets, yeah, you can get like a 10 energy hat. But if you pay a ton of money, you can get a 30 energy hat. Why is the, that like conversion so not in the favor of the free to play player? I get it. If you pay more money, I get why the highest energy set is something, okay, you buy a bundle, congrats. But but why is like the next best thing so much worse? It doesn't need to be that much worse. Overall, I think it's about goddamn time they actually start raising our energy like cap again and also increasing ways that you can raise your energy without spending a crazy amount of money. They're adding more ways that energy is drained. They're losing play time for people that would otherwise stay on the game using energy. And if you're free to play, it's a super inaccessible stat. That's so many issues with a stat that could do so much for the game. And I think it bothers me. I hope it bothers you. That's my two cents on all the ways that energy is flawed in Wizard 101. I really hope they fix some of this stuff. As always, let me know what you guys think about the energy problem in Wizard 101. It's just something that I've noticed, and it feels like a pattern that is just becoming, like, you know, a worse stat. Like, it's just not as usable. But I'd love to hear y'all's thoughts on it. Maybe you disagree. I'd love to hear those, too. Drop a like on the video. Drop a sub if you're new. And as always, if somebody hasn't told you're awesome today, they doing something wrong. Stay awesome. See y'all soon. And yeah, y'all. Yeah.